So now, Ladies of London, like, let's go back to season one. I know you weren't in season one, but, like, when this show was casting, like, was there a, like, did you know what Bravo was? Was there, like, a buzz around London? Like, well, obviously, I knew all of it because I knew the cast. So, you know, I think there was a little bit of resistance about getting me on season one. Um... I don't want to go too, into too much detail, but um, anyway, season two came along and, um, you know, again, I wasn't asked to do it, which is fine, you know, whatever. And then season three came along and it was actually Luke Henderson. He pushed so hard for me. Like, he was like, you know, and there was also, you know, just at the last, because there was 25 girls, I think, that went for it. and. Uh, and then, like, right at the last minute when they kind of said, you know, you've got it, someone on the cast brought in somebody else and, and was pushing really, 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 really hard for her to go on. Anyway, she did go on, but she was actually, she didn't stay on for very long. So... This, this is in season three? Yeah, in season three. Who so, was that? Um, that was Kim. Okay. And who, yeah, I remember her. Who brought her on? I forgot. Um, well, uh, Caroline Stanbury. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, so listen, it was, it was an amazing platform, you know, for, for me to connect with so many amazing people. And I had so much shame before that about, about, you know, not being with my children and, you know, it absolutely, I mean, it, I mean, it killed me even after doing the show, whatever, you know, it's been six years now and, you know, yeah, that's why I do spend a lot of time on my own. I feel safer, you know, I feel safer from just, I don't want to be hurt like that again. That kind of pain is, it just rips you apart. So when I opened up about it on the show and I didn't really even think about opening up about it, suddenly when so many people came to me and said, Adela, you know, we're going through the same thing or, you know, or I had no idea that I was the only person in the world that this had happened to. And so it, that was just, ama you know, that was amazing. Um, you know, it's, it's difficult filming a, a reality show with your, I mean, for me, it was the easiest thing in the world because I was just me. So there was absolutely, I, you know, I couldn't, I mean, I could never be anybody else. I am just me. And so for me, it was amazing. But, you know, it, it does drive wedges, you know, in between your friendships, which is really, really sad and, and very toxic. And I wasn't drinking on the show. So, um, so I was kind of like, you know, I could see more than anybody, you know, I could, I could kind of like suss out the situations, but I was just being me, 100% authentic. I, you know, I'm, I've always been told that I've got Tourette's of honesty. It's like, and so, I mean, after the show finished, I had to go to a, it's, a, it's like a healing resort in um, Thailand called Kamalaya. And I literally had healers on me every single day because I felt like my spirituality had just been like ripped to shreds. And so I had to go there for two weeks and just like, I mean, just, just get, you know, just kind of ground. It's built on an old monastery and yeah, 